John here guys and today we are talking about the Rush F7 core stack with the Matrix ESC. Now Rush was one of the most iconic bands of the early 80s pioneering some of that unusual synthesizer magic. The A lot of those 80s hair bands captured and while this might not be considered hard rock and roll the very interesting vocalistic sounds of band leader Getty Lee will lull you off into an 80s induced trance of nostalgia overload and very much like the band Rush that was ahead of its time as is this Rush IMU stack has a couple of very interesting inclusions on board. Now let's jump in and take a look. So let's check out this Rush FPV Racing Mini F7 Core FC stack with the Matrix ESC. What does that mean? The Matrix is perfect. So let's see what all we have here. I went ahead and opened up these little anti-static bags just so it would be a little easier to go through the contents okay so first off we see the matrix 30 amp esc ah uh, yes very nice indeed look at this 20 by 20 esc with a nice heat sink there uh, but one thing you notice right off the bat are two very particular things one this is a pinned harness esc you can see the pin holes right there and two it says 5s lipo max they make a big deal of that on the website and as well as printed on the board itself um, in this day and age a 30 amp esc is still okay but only 5s who runs 5s i don't know about that guys here is the possibly the most notable um, this is the IMU Steady Rush Core Flight Controller. Now, one notable thing about this is it has a special uh, vibration dampening um, mounting system here. It actually comes with, so you don't need to mount like standoffs perfectly sized for these pins. It's kind of already installed on there. These come shipped with these little foam pads so that you don't um, damage these very delicate pins that you can see right here look how tiny they are it's uh very similar to those hglrc stacks that we used to run or or like one of those early emacs magnums before they moved on to the harness so i don't love the pins um that's not going to be any secret but uh below this suspension system it has the gyro floating in there there's also an f7 processor on board this flight controller now what do you notice right off the back there's hardly any pads on this thing but there are connectors everywhere yes that's right so this is sort of similar to the flight one gear in that regard in that this ships with a variety of harnesses one is going to be for your camera one is going to be for your receiver i really like you can see the camera harness right there is pinned on both sides so you'll be doing You'll be doing zero soldering for your camera whatsoever. Um, your receiver has right there the three pins, so you only have to solder three wires up for that. And then these are some probably some additional accessories on board here. Oh, okay, the other one is LED. It's marked right there. So you're going to have your receiver down at the bottom and the camera up at the front, which is going to be perfect because that's going to be facing... Um, where your camera will actually be mounted and then you have your USB to the side uh, let's go ahead and put that into the stack we're gonna do this very gently since I don't have the hardware below you want to make sure and be very careful to line those pins up and really carefully inspect them prior to doing this to make sure that none of them are bent and it just sits in just like that now one thing that everyone may have already seen before is the rush tank uh this is like the mini rush tank with the heat sink cover on top 
uh, video transmitter. One thing I did notice when I was opening all this stuff is in shipping, my pins actually became bent. So you want to really be careful about inspecting this before you install it. That's really not a huge problem as long as none of them are broken, which doesn't look like they are. I can just bend those back into place. Now note that um, this does have your solder pads on there. So if I wanted to say, for instance, use this in a build that did not have the space to do a three layer stack like that, I could take this little pin thing off and put it like to the side and just run some wires for that, no problem. Um, this is, you know, a really, really good VTX option. And this entire stack comes in at about 115 bucks. So given that this VTX is about 30 bucks, that leaves you with this stack for about 85, but it is the easiest build to stack or build out there because uh, you basically only have to solder up your power leads and your motor wires. Uh, interesting note is that it comes with an XT30 power lead soldered up. So it's almost like they assume that you're going to be using this with a micro. So if you want to use this on a five inch build, you'll want to provide your own XT60 connector and power leads. And the uh, capacitor that it has is a 35 volt 470. So that'd be perfect for kind of a three inch. But if I was doing this on a five inch at forest or 5S, uh, I think what I would go ahead and do is is uh, run a bigger 1000, either a 35 or a 50 uh, capacitor on there. So this looks quite good. It's very, very small, compact. I like that you don't have to have the extra hardware on the top. It already solves that solution for you to perfectly fit the VTX on there. Um, carefully inspect your pins uh, after you open this up just to make sure that they were not jostled around during shipping. They do make a pretty good effort to avoid that by having these little foam pads at the bottom, but mine may have been jostled just the right way, just to you know slightly bend those. I'm just gonna get a small set of tweezers, bend those right back. They're not bent very much, so it's not gonna be a problem at all. I'm gonna get this built up in a build very soon. Um, I think when Banggood um, sent me this, I did not realize that this was a stack combo that was 5s max so i'm gonna have to figure out something to not run this on 6s which is pretty much all i do these days maybe i'll build a super light 4s with this what do you think guys in the comments uh have anybody used this stack uh, rush has already built a name for themselves with their super tank like vtx's why it is aptly named the tank and uh, what do you think, guys? Thanks.